Hey everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, I'll be showing you a very useful tip. And also, I will show you under the hood of the Laravel why that is happening. So, let's get started. So, here I have a user model, and let's say I'll get the first one and reload, then you can see the first data over here. And here, let's say we want to get the count of the posts that this user has. So, we'll say here with count post by the way i have this posts relationship over here has many so here if i run it then you can see the posts count equals to three over here which means that this user has three posts but let's say we only want to get the name and id of the user okay so let's say select over here and let's say id sorry not here but here id name so now we want id name and posts count but if i run it then you'll not get the posts count over here this is because we have to always write this select statement first and i'll also show you why this is happening by taking you under the hood of the laravel so here we'll do select and if i run it then you'll actually see the posts count over here so now let's dive into laravel why this is happening now let me go here in the user model over here and let me go inside this authenticable and inside this extends model so here now let us search for the select method select so we don't have any select method on the model which means that laravel is using underscore underscore call magic method which is the feature of php if there is no method that is present in a class then it will actually look into this underscore underscore call method which is present over here so it will execute this method I have already looked into it and if i just do dd over here one two three like this and come here and run then you will see that it will not go into these if conditions it will call this so let me just remove this dd and it will forward this call to this new query this forwards to is coming from the forwardable thread if you want to know about it then i'll just make a separate video about it it will actually call this method on this object with these parameters so let me go here in the object new query and it is actually this builder and now here also i'll search for select so here also we don't have a select method which means again we have to look into this underscore underscore call so yes it is present over here which means that it will actually call this underscore underscore call method now let me again go over here and do like dd over here one like this come here and reload then it will reach over here which means that none of these above will be executed and this will be executed so here now again those methods and parameters are forwarded to our builder query currently this is this eloquent builder but it will actually be forwarded to the query builder which is the base builder in the laravel now here i'll search for select and yes we have this select method over here and now if you see here this is the columns which has the default parameter as all so if you do not write anything in the select it will actually select all the columns of a table so now you can see here the first thing over here which is columns equals to empty so whatever we write before this select laravel will just ignore them it will just reset the columns with the empty array and it will loop through the columns and then only return this query builder instance so because of this we have to always write this select statement in the beginning whenever we are building a query using eloquent or just basic query builder 